The Wapato School District is asking for the community's help to upgrade two elementary schools and one high school building that are well over 50 years old and starting to wear out. Reporter Alana Martinez visited the school to see what the needs are and what this would cost taxpayers. We believe that these facilities that you know are being proposed to be replaced with this bond are at a time where they need to be replaced. The Pace High School building in question is almost 90 years old, built in 1936. Similarly, Camus and Sadus Elementary were both built in the mid-1900s. They may not look out of date at first glance, but Wapato School District officials say they're slowly falling apart. You walk into them, you might look at them and go, hey, this is, a, this is not a bad school, but you can't see what's behind the walls. You can't see the plumbing, you can't see the HVAC and that type of stuff that you know, helps create a comfortable learning environment for our students and staff. Issues like this water pipe that burst last year could be more of a common occurrence if improvements aren't made soon. To start taking action, the board is bringing a bond proposal to voters on the February ballot. But at what cost to taxpayers? There's no way we could go to our taxpayers and ask for the amount of money that it would take to do this project. The bond measure is $33 million, which officials say based off the median home value, it would be about $32 extra dollars a month for Wapato homeowners. But if passed, the state will also award a grant close to 45% of the project's total cost. We are in line for about $27.35 million to help fund this project or these projects. The idea is to combine both elementary schools into one larger, more secure building and also make much needed safety and maintenance improvements at the high school. School leaders say these plans were carefully developed over the last year or so with input from staff, families and community members who don't have a direct interest in the school district. Thanks, Alana, and Wapato school leaders are encouraging the community to become more informed on this bond by going to informational meetings coming up over the next couple of months. If you have a story you'd like us to look into, let us know on our tip line. Send an email to tips at kimatv.com. You can also call us at 575-KIMA. And make sure to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, X, and our YouTube channel.